R2602, an act to provide port claims of immunity for non-Maine regional transit organizations that provide regular service in Maine. Good morning, Mr. President, Mr. Speaker, and members of the Council. Thank you for having me here today. Um, despite the complicated title about this bill, it really boils down to jobs, revenue for this, and revenue for the state. And it's all due to the closure of the Memorial Bridge. So I will focus on Cary as an example. I told the tax records from the Revenue Service. Over the years, Cary has delivered significant taxable sales uh, here in Maine. In 2010, $241 million in taxable sales occurred. That converted to $12.7 million in tax revenue to the state of Maine. The, the Maine Department of Transportation two years ago asked to have an economic impact study done knowing that the closure was uh, coming in the next few years and as you all know it occurred a year earlier than expected. That study indicated that in Kittery alone, 43% of the businesses would be negatively impacted by the closure of the bridge. 17% of those would be impacted to the point of closure. So that tells you the impact it will have approximately a million dollars on our tax revenue. In that study, there were recommendations made on ways to minimize that, and transportation bringing people from New Hampshire by bike, usually pedestrians, people who routinely went to this area and now wouldn't be going to that area, um, recommended a public transit system to minimize that. And also factor in with the closure of business or the reduction of the sales, we lose jobs, we lose corporate tax, we lose income tax. So I hope you'll give this a great consideration among the streamlining committee and we're pitching for pennies as usual to try to find 25 million. I hate to see this one million go out the door. Thank you. Vote. Uh, Senator Gordon. Uh, Senator, can, can you just explain what the bill does? Sure. Um, I, I know it sounds complex, and so okay. I really want to focus on that and since you asked, I would appreciate it. Essentially, we have no public transit system along the, the river and the communities affected by the closure of this bridge and eventually Sarah Mildred Long Bridge. And so there is a company right now operating in New Hampshire called Coast. They run bus service and they actually do bring many, many people over to Badger's Island in Kittery. Those people go to work at the Naval Yard and of course they bring in lots of taxable income, uh, income dollars for us. Um, so they, under their laws in New Hampshire, they cannot extend their business unless Maine allows them to operate under the same law that Maine public transit would offer. Senator Rose, speak, Speaker Dunning has moved, has moved the question. So oh, sorry, thank you. Proceed to a vote. The vote is over. Thank you, Senator Rose. Thank you very much.